Number 551, Wayne Granger. Wayne's still alive. He's 79 years old now. In June 1970, he threw the final pitch and also earned uh, the last victory for the Reds uh, in the Reds' old home of Cros uh, Cros Cros Crosley Field before he moved to Riverfront Stadium. Dodger rookies, Ted Sizemore, five five three Ron Davis. Ron died in September five, nineteen ninety two. He was fifty years old when he passed away. He attended Duke University. <clears throat> Frank died April. No, Frank died March 3rd, 2010. He was 65 years old, died from a heart attack. Jim Hart, Jim Ray Hart. Hart joined, uh, Hart died May the 19th, 2016. He was 74 years old. Uh, he joined the Teamsters as a warehouseman for Safeway Supermarkets. The A's stars. Then you got Frank Fernandez. Frank's still alive. <clears throat> He's 80 years old. He holds the record for the most home runs, 39 for a player with a batting average less than 200. Tom Berenger. He's still alive. He's 79 years old. Lettered in three sports in high school, baseball, hockey, and wrestling. Cardinals rookies. Louis Tiot. Louis still alive. He's 82 years old. He's an avid cigar smoker. Tommy John remembers his cigars only too well from the days in the Indian organization. Louis would smoke those horrendous Long Cuban cigars would be on the bus all night, wake up to a thick blue haze from Tiot's ropes. Tiot had an almost supernatural ability for keeping the cigar lit. Avid cigar smoking, smoker who's still alive at 82. Ron Clark, Ron's still alive at 80. Uh, Clark remained in the Phillies organization as a minor league manager. Minor league manager with the Phillies. There's Bob Watson. <clears throat> That's his rookie card. My, Bob was born May 14th, same as mine. Uh, no, died on May the 14th, same as my birthday, uh, 2020. He was 74 years old. Watson was credited for scoring the 1,000th, 1 millionth, run in Major League history on Sunday, May the 4th, 1975. Watson scored from second base on a three-run homer by teammate Milt May at Candlestick Park. It was known that the 999,999th run had already scored, with sponsored updates being provided by to every ballpark. Uh, despite the lack of in-game urgency, Watson ran at full speed, reaching home plate approximately four seconds before Dave Concepcion, who had just homered in Cincinnati and was also racing around the base pass. He says, I never ran so fast my entire life, said Concepcion. But it was Watson who won $10,000 and 1 million Tootsie Rolls provided by the event's sponsor. Watson joked in the aftermath of the event, his fan mail doubled. 
from four letters to eight. Bob Watson. Marty Patton. Marty died October 3rd, 2018. He was 75 years old. He remained involved with the sport as a coach. He was head coach of the University of Kansas baseball team from 82 to 87. Then you got Gil Hodges manager card. <clears throat> Hoyt Wilhelm. Hoyt died August the 23rd, 2002. Uh, he was 80 years old. During World War II, he participated in the Battle of the Bulge, where he was wounded, earning a Purple Heart for his actions. He rose to the rank of Staff Sergeant while he was in the Army, played his entire career with a piece of shrapnel lodged, between his back, lodged in his back as a result of the wounds he suffered in that battle. Hoyt Wilhelm. Died at 80, 2002. Thank you for your service. Ron Hasten. Ron's alive. He's 85. He led the American League shortstops and double plays in 1961. Pirates rookies. Cecil Upshaw. Cecil died February 7th, 1995, when he was 52 years old. Uh, <clears throat> Cecil's career was cut short due to an automobile accident, unfortunate incident in 1970. He and two other Braves players were walking down the San Diego sidewalk. And one of the players bet him he could not jump up and touch the overhead awning. Upshaw did reach the awning, but a ring on his pitching hand became caught on the projecting on a projection sticking out from the awning, which tore ligaments in his hand. He never fully recovered, but was considered one of the best, one of the better relief pitchers in Major League Baseball up to that time. Huh? I didn't realize that. 1970 career cut short because of a. I bet. <laughs> Billy Harris. Billy died December 20th, 2020. Uh, he was 50, uh, he was 77 years old. He only played two seasons, two seasons in Major League Baseball in the minor, majors. Ron Santo. Ron Santo died December 3rd, 2010. Complications from bladder cancer and diabetes. Ron was 70 years old when he passed. Cap Peterson. Cap died May 16th, 1980. He was only 37 years old. He was president of his family's construction business. He died in Tacoma at the age of 37 after a long bout with kidney disease. You got a Giants Heroes special card. Number 573, Jim Palmer. Jim's still alive. He's 77 now. He was nicknamed Cakes in the 1960s because of his habit of eating pancakes for breakfast on the days he pitched. Superstitious Jim Palmer. George Scott. George died July 28, 2013 at the age of 69. He signed as an amateur free agent straight out of high school on May the 28th, 1962 for $8,000. And number 575, Bill Singer. Bill's still alive. He's 79 years old. Singer was the opening day starter for the expansion Blue Jays in 1977. Bill Singer. <clears throat> 